as usual, welcome to the show. In today's episode, I'm gonna actually in today's episode, huh? You probably heard about all, all the trouble Konami is going through. They're not doing too well. Anyway, the game I'm reviewing today is back when they were awesome. Like really awesome. As you know back in the day they made some really cool beat 'em ups and shoot 'em ups in the arcade. One of them is a cool running gun game called Sunset Riders. And as you can see I'm doing it this will be the this will be what I'm doing for the episode. This is a really, really fun game. And it and it has and it was released for both the Genesis and the Super Nintendo. But I'll get I don't have the Genesis version yet, but I'll be doing this version. So anyway, let's roll those shiny all fancy credits and get to a rootin' tootin' old time, shall we? Sunset Riders came out for the Super Nintendo in 1993. Unlike the Genesis version, which was a uniquely or vastly kind of different game from the arcade version, the Super Nintendo version was almost pretty much a direct port with some changes. Well, anyway, in it, it's basically it's a run and gun set in the Old West, or a really fancy version of the Old West. Can, can, you can see by the bright blues and greens and yellows and stuff. You'll see what I mean. You'll, you'll probably see what I'm playing this right here. Basically your main mission in each level is to hunt down the main outlaw at the end and take him out and get the reward. Along the way you'll run into two types of power-ups. And they're, they're in the form of dead sheriff's Deputy badges of sorts. One of them will give you rapid fire, so you, so you don't need it because when you begin the game, you, every time you push a button, you'll know, fire off a shot. And and you get that power up, you can just hold down and let the good times roll. Speaking of that, the good times roll, the other power up is the double gun, which, which if you get that one, you, you'll, you'll then get get be, be equipped with a second gun in, in your other hand which is cool because in this game also two characters use pistols and two characters use well well according to what some of the sources I've read one of the characters Cormano uses shotguns and the other character I forget what his name is that character uses a rifle but they do, but but they but they look the same to me. I don't know about you. Also, compared to the arcade game, the women in this game have been are more conservatively dressed. Because I believe in the arcade game, they had more revealing clothing on, I guess. And some of the enemies in the Super Nintendo version have been slightly altered. Most from what I've from what I've from what I've from what I've noticed, I guess in the arcade game there were female enemies that threw dynamite, which you could actually throw back. Whereas in the SNES, in the Super, I'm sorry, in the Super Nintendo version, the female dynamite throwers were changed to male. And also because, as you can tell, stereotypes abound in this game. There is one, I, I, I mainly say that because there is a boss, an outlaw, who is Native American. And I think in the arcade version he was known something I think Chief Scalpum or something and if that doesn't really sound that good of course his SNES you know name and that his name in the SNES version isn't much better I think it's Chief Wigwam or something I forget I mean, maybe I'm showing it here if not I think it's Chief Wigwam and that's really not too good and it's even worse because I think he goes and that, that's a big powwow or something like that. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
you gotta love, as I like to say, you gotta love stereotypes. So if you're not offended by that, you know, uh, then you shouldn't be, although it is kind of funny. But anyway, moving on. And also being it a Super Nintendo game, there, in a Super Nintendo Konami game, there is a two-player co-op mode in this, in Sunset Riders. Although it kind of makes me sad that, you know, I know around, the, uh, I know for the Super Nintendo, there was a multi-tap. There were a couple multi-taps that were released for the Super Nintendo, and it saddens me. I, I don't know when this, when those adapters came out, but in the arcades, both and there's a game I previously I previously reviewed, which was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles version. You know that Turtles in Time game I reviewed way early in an earlier episode. And the same with this game. It sucks because this this really could have used four player support. Because in both the Turtles game and Sunset Riders in the arcades, there was a four player arcade cabinet. Even though for again for both versions for both games, there was also a two player arcade cabinet. But I were to me from experience, I've rarely seen those. It was it was always the four player cabinet. So it would have been cool. It would have been cool if they would have taken advantage of. The multiplayer adapters of the day, but you know it is what it is. Oh well, I still enjoy it nonetheless. Anyway, though, in this game, it is a as I mentioned, it is a run and gun, and there's no health bars here. One hit, and it's one life. So it's arcade rules. Although it's cool too is some 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 levels you can jump up to a second level, which is pretty cool. And also, there's cows or bulls or whatever and you can run on top of them cool and also and also what you can do too is there's let's see here what's cool is you can also do a slide thing a slide mode I think it's a slide move but I barely use that as well but hey but hey it's, it's cool I know in the SNES I mean in the Genesis game I heard they change it to a two button move whereas in this game you can make it just be a one button move which is cool and also in between some of the levels there's a bonus game basically you aim this aim the cursor over certain ordinary bad guys that want to take you out although you don't lose any they, they don't fire back it's just more of a shooting gallery type thing it's pretty cool and it's, and it's a nice touch it's, it's kind of a nice little diversion in between some of the some of the levels which is cool as well as a fan of these Konami light of these Konami you know like I, I almost don't say light gun games but I say as a fan of the Konami beat em up slash running guns I do remember I remember playing I, my, my memory my my memory for playing this for the first time let me see here I think I was at a at the time there was this pizza place called Carboni's that's still around this here in Minnesota anyway. But anyway though, it used to be in this this mall. So in it, in, in back in the day when some, when most pizza parlors parlors sorry ha, had arcades, I guess this game was a part of that. So it's kind of cool to see that. Oh, it's a Konami made game. Awesome. You know, although I didn't do too well, but I thought it was fun. But anyway though, I and I. I and I, I didn't get this game new, I got it used of course, but I remember reading about it in the game magazines at the time and, and thinking, wow, I should totally get that one of these days. And I did, and I really enjoyed it. Although it's sad, it's sad even though it saddens me nowadays that Konami it, is, isn't, doing that, isn't doing that well nowadays. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. But anyway though, but I must say, well back in the day, at least they made some dang good games, I've gotta say. But anyway though, you know, although if you see this in the wild, pick it up. And I don't, and I don't think it's that, ex I don't think it's too expensive either still. I could be wrong, but hey, now's a good time more than any to, to snap it up. So anyway, I'll give my, on my recommendation scale, I'll say, highly recommended. As I usually say, if you live in or around South St. Paul, the Twin Cities, Minnesota area, please be sure to visit my excellent friends at Level Up Games. Besides games, they sell comic books, graphic novels, tabletop board games, 
collectible card games like Magic. Uh, and they have a cool pinball game selection, which is neat. I think they have a pinball still. Uh, let's see. And they also have like card collectible card game tournaments as well, among other awesome things. Anyway, their address is below here, and they have a website that's below too. The place where they are is around here somewhere, below. below. So give them a visit if you, if you can. And anyway, if you're seeing this on YouTube, peachy. And if you haven't subscribed yet, and you like what you see, please do so. And also, I have a Facebook fan and group page, as well as an Instagram and a Twitter feed account. And that stuff's down below as well. Cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and as usual, stay tuned for the next episode of Power Up. Ready for power.